Hi, I'm Yvonne. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new, welcome. Welcome to the family. If you are not new, thank you for coming back. I know it's been a while, but I'm not going to bore you guys with the details why it's been so long. Like, more than likely, you're going to fast forward my explanation anyway, so it doesn't matter. But uh, just know that it's life. Life came and took over. But I am back and I am going to try to just be more consistent. And today I am coming to you, towards you, with you, with this hairstyle right here. It's an updo and I use some um, yaki, it's not yaki, Marley hair. Do they even call it Marley hair anymore? Anyways, I look so, it's called reggae braiding hair. That's what it's called. Reggae braiding hair for this ponytail. I just did like a cute little... Um, a little updo, just a little, little updo that will last you a few days. Um, if you're in between styles, if you don't feel like doing your hair or what have you, I think this is a cute, like, simple style. And just, just lay down the edges a little bit with my edge brush that I am currently creating. And I cannot wait until it's out. It will be out for pre-sale pretty soon, but it's all organic. It's made out of bamboo. Even the bristles are bamboo. So... I can't wait to introduce it to you guys and I can't wait to start pre-selling these. These are amazing. I've worked on these for so long. And it's just a beautiful edge brush. Um, I wanted to get a brush that was perfect for 4C hair because we got that. We got our, our curls a little tighter. So it takes a little, a stronger brush, um, you know, to lay our baby's hair down. But it's also soft enough for anybody that has any other hair texture. So I kind of wanted to make something for everybody but that was good for the environment. So I'll be introducing these soon and I'll tell you guys more about them. But this is what I'll be using to lay my edges as well as like other products. So without talking your ear off, I'll just get right to the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's down here, up here somewhere. The subscribe button, go ahead and subscribe so you can just know whenever I post videos. You can turn on your notification as well and you'll just know as soon as I post a video. And um, thumbs up as well if you like this video, if you wanna see more hair videos. Um, thumbs up uh, this one so anyways let me just get uh, right into the video all right so you will be starting out with pre-washed hair and you're kind of trying to divide it into a V or a U or whatever this shape is so you're gonna try to do your neatest job I didn't do mine so neat but it'll come together and I'm gonna take this argan oil conditioner it's a leave-in conditioner I love this stuff and just tie back the rest of your hair that you're not using and you're gonna spray that into your hair so this is pre-washed hair I washed it the night before and I put it in those little plaques or plates whatever they're called so you're gonna start with pre-washed hair and you're gonna brush it out and you're gonna be dividing this hair into three little sections so this is the first section right here and I'm gonna try to do my neatest job I had a mirror in front of me but yeah now you can do it like the way you would love to do it but I try to get as neat as I could realistically I could have had a rat tail comb is how it's called a rat tail I could have used that and it would have been a neater job but this is what I had to work with at the time. So I just pinned the rest of my hair that I'm not using back. So again, this is the first section, one out of three sections. And I'm going to take this hair and I'm going to divide it into two smaller sections. So that's what I am doing right now. And I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to do it neat, but you know. So um, there we go. I'm going to divide that into two sections right there. I'm trying to show you guys. And then I'm going to take some shine and jam. Good old, just like regular gel. Any gel you have, honestly, works. I'm just putting that into my hair just so it can be a little more put together and a little neater. And it can just stay in longer. This hairstyle, I mean, can stay in longer. So you just add a little, a little, little gel. So it can stay in um, a little longer. And I'm going to take some of my favorite. This is Edge Control. This is Hicks Edge Control. It's pricey, but it's worth it. So it should be a 4C hair. 
and i'm putting that on the roots of my hair so again it can just give a little neater look and last longer and as you can see i tied it on that side so this is my edge brush i have them in different colors so i'm gonna take this edge brush don't mind that little bug i'm gonna take this edge brush and i love it because it's just so perfect for any hair type and I'm gonna take a rubber band any rubber band black one preferably because you can see so can match your hair or whatever your hair color is just to get a rubber band that matches and blends with your hair so I'm gonna take this black one I don't know why I was struggling I was struggling though so I'm gonna take this rubber band and just easily just do it like you would your regular hair and I'm just gonna tie that and you see why it's so how it's so much neater with some gel just looks a lot neater and put together and if it doesn't look quite as neat right now don't worry it will come together so i am just gelling that down and i'm dividing it into two more sections you see how there's another little section in the back now i'm gonna divide that section into three separate sections then i take my first one and i twist it and i go to the all the way on the other side now I'm going to put that together. And I already had a little gel on that little section too. Realistically, I kind of wish that I tied, I need those twists a little neater, but it's all good. So I'm going to twist that up too, and I'm going to take it all the way to the opposite side. You guys see what I mean? I hope you get what I mean. Add a little gel there. Twist it, twist it, twist it, twist. And I am going to, yep, flip, go all the way to the other side. Add a little rubber band and a little gel. And kind of just gel that down and then rubber band it together. And you see how I just have that one little middle section um, hair left. So I'm going to take a little more gel there as well. And a little gel in the back section. Just in my camera. And then I'm going to twist it. And so all I have is that middle one. I'm going to twist it. And then I'm just going to attach it to that last little section at the back. So you guys see what I mean? There we go. And we're going to adjust that. Adjust that. We're going to tie that together. So it's just kind of, they're really simple. And I'm just going to add these little, are they hair jewelry? Is that what they're called? And you can get these for like a dollar or less at your beauty supply store. And I got these for like a dollar. And they're cute. And they just add a little more, you know. So I put two on the front and one in the middle right there. And then just anywhere else I put the little rubber bands. I put the hair jewelry. And you can leave your hair like this. But I just like to add a little more like Marley hair. Whatever this hair is called. I always forget. And I'm going to just put in my, not pin. I just tie my hair back. And when it comes to Marley hair, it's just, I tend to freestyle with it. Just kind of keep messing with it. I tie it and tie it around. It's different every time I do my hair. So, you just freestyle with it, quite honestly. And you just tie it around right there. And you just use bobby pins to just pin your hair in or back or whatever. Pin this in. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to take my little, my, my edge brush. And I'm going to uh, lay my edges back or down with the hex gel. And this gel tends to like, if you have anything in your hair, it tends to like flake up. It doesn't do that. I hear a lot of people say that, but it doesn't really do that to me. But. Um, so I just kind of use a Hicks gel and I lay it down. It's the only, I feel like, edge control that lasts long on my hair type. So I highly suggest it. It's like $14. It's pricey, but it's worth it. So I gel it down and I'm going to take a silk scarf. Any scarf you have, it's honestly fine. And you want to uh, tie this back. And right here, I'm like signaling you tie for 10 minutes or longer, honestly. I think I would do it longer. And you're going to take any, um, what's it called, black eyeshadow. I use this Too Faced palette just because it's the quickest black eyeshadow I could find. And I am going to just take the black eyeshadow and fill this in and this kind of makes your edges just look thicker i did a video on this and i can link it above 
and after you add the eyeshadow you just brush it in with the edge brush again and so you can blend in with your natural hair this is my best little trick for making your edges look thicker and put together that's pretty much it guys this is it quick easy lasts a while and if you haven't already thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time bye